Good afternoon. This is Sir Timothy Thrapp, World Improvement through the Spirit Ministries with additional World Improvement Technologies. We are, I am spokesman for a group of ministers, scientists, engineers. Uh, we've developed uh, quite a few interesting things over the last 200 years. This is a demonstration. Uh, well, the reason we're putting these demonstrations on YouTube is for the fundraiser. We would like to get uh, a home power system in mass production. And so anybody that uh, feels led to help, please do. You check out our website. Uh, you'll see that we're honest and sincere. Feel free to check out the members area. It's a pay-per-view area where you can read uh, all the different uh, scientists and engineers that have tested our stuff, their testimonials. There'll be some video testimonials either up on YouTube or in that area soon. And uh, everybody feel free to check it out. There's also some bills there where people have uh, significantly reduced their utility bills. In one case, the reading is negative. So they've uh, actually uh, uh, produce more power than they're consuming at that particular place and uh, so we've also posted a number of bills there in the members area just to help people understand what's what's going on and that it's real and it's valid and it's reproducible and we've been doing it for about 200 well about 140 years for the homes and cars about a hundred about a hundred years for automobiles yeah, the first, uh, the first of our, the cars that the ministries did, was, the ministry, World Improvement Ministries did, was back about 1910 or so. And uh, this first house was back in the 1870s or so. Stubblefield uh, was in charge of the ministry in those days. Nathan Stubblefield. And you can look him up online if you want to learn more about him. Uh, anyway, so we're going to demonstrate today the ability of... Uh, uh, a machine to run with basically an open circuit. This is harnessing a little bit of energy right out of the human body. That's what's going on here, or right out of the environment, if you want to say it that way. And basically, quantum energy is right out of the environment, and it is available. It is abundant. It is free, uh, except you do have to buy and build the machinery that goes with it. It's uh, you know, it's not like somebody's just going to hand it to you. Uh, so people need to cooperate to get the factory going so we can get these masks produced at a reasonable price. So if everybody that sees this video would donate a couple dollars, we'd probably be ready to do it within six months or a year. So that's what we're asking people to do. Go check it out. Check out our website. Um, there's a request a gift. There's a lot of things already in mass production that you can request. Uh, energy devices. A few things. I shouldn't say a lot. A few things. And... Uh, there's also uh, plans and kits that you can build and uh, check out our members area because that's where all the testimonials are. And we do plan to put more testimonials on YouTube soon. So, uh, shall I go ahead and start? All right, let's go. Okay, I would like to mention that Steve, the cameraman, is, Steve Smith is uh, a very competent engineer and he's been volunteering to help the ministry now for a couple years and we really appreciate him. And he has looked this whole thing over, and he can tell you there's no tricks. This is the real thing. And he's looked all of our systems over, and he can tell you the. Is that, is that correct, Steve? I will give you a confirmation that there are no hidden tricks here, no additional wires uh, adding on to uh, the uh, the demo that we're doing here. It all is self-contained and uh, as stated. Okay. And like I say, you can go on the website. There's uh, about 20-some other people's testimonials that we've listed there and if you want to talk to any of those people just make the appropriate donations we'll get them on the phone and uh, this is we are the only organization that actually has testimonials everybody else there's one one guy usually and maybe two guys in some cases and uh, that's it they're both uh, nobody whatsoever has confirmed that anything is real as far as I know on all these other organizations that are supposedly working in this field and so we've got 20 20 some posted freely for everybody to see, so that should make a difference. Anyway, um, without further ado, I'm going to read, read the reading on the battery pack, and then we're going to hook it up and run it for a while, even open circuit, and we'll see the uh, we'll see what all happens here. Everything goes right, the battery will be higher when we're done than when we started, and the uh, and it'll run faster when it's open circuit than when it's closed circuit. Okay, we're reading 194.1 on the battery pack. And hopefully you can see where I'm reading. Everybody can try to scoot, scoot right in because people will try to say that I hit, hooked it to a different battery or something. So try to scoot right in there. I don't know if you can. How about my hands here? You can. 
194.4 yeah okay so you see where it's connected right on the hopefully you see right where it's connected I don't know if you can see in there or not but see right where it's connected 194.4 so when I'm done we'll hopefully get the same you know there's no tricks going on here these people that constantly write me and tell me there's tricks it uh, gets me going there's only about one out of 20 but it only takes one out of 20 sometimes to get you going but anyway so 194.4 is what we had mm -hmm. right. and we'll start her up and run her open circuit um, let me connect up the leads on the battery pack and see if you have any questions you think should be anything should be added we're all just volunteers here so <coughs> nobody's a professional salesman in this group and that's probably uh, that's what keeps everybody honest basically so <laughs> anyway, uh, if you have any questions or thoughts feel free and we'll start her up and it'll take a little bit of fiddling to get uh, to get all the adjustments right. There we go. Tim, let me zoom in there to see the uh, see the magnet turning. Magnet turning. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it down to where it's barely turning, and and then when I open the circuit, you'll notice it speeds up. Yep, just a little too slow here. <laughs> 